Okay, Pittsburgh Tour fans, today we are talking about Gunnar Osheski. Gunnar Osheski. Not Gunnar Oslowski, Ozuski, Olaski, Ahuski. Gunnar. Wait. Gunnar Oz. Wait a minute. Gunnar. Now I've lost it. Gunnar Ozheski. Here we go. Receiver. Uh, coming into Pittsburgh, signed a two-year deal a few days ago. He's now our returner. The reason why I'm talking about him today is because I saw the Missy, Ma uh, Missy Matthews interview with Gunner. Seems like a cool dude. And honestly, what else is going on? There is not much. <laughs> there is not much else going on. So we're going to dive into a little bit from Gunner Oshesky. That's how you pronounce it, Gunner Oshesky. I was getting it wrong. Uh, I think he, I think he said it in the interview he was from Poland, so that's pretty cool. Um, first of all, uh, if you go onto Steelers.com, you guys all know that site. We, that's who we follow, right? If you go onto there, you'll find out. Uh, you'll see his interview. It was kind of cool. It was kind of uh, getting me pumped up. He said he was pumped up to be a Steeler. He was thankful that he got uh, the two-year contract. Um, gave the two-year contract. He wants to try and work for the Steelers uh, as, a, as a return man, and he might even work into the slot. I could see them using him in the offense too, and not just as a return man. So they might use Gunner, uh, kick return, punt return, and maybe the third or fourth receiver. We'll see what happens. Um, I looked up his stats, right? So I'm going to quote a few things today, so I could be so wrong. But I looked up his stats from profootballreference.com. That's quite a reliable site. It looks like he hasn't got a he hasn't got one completion as a receiver. Maybe he has. No, I apologize. That okay. What they've done? All right, all right. Rookie error, YouTube error, but it's fixed already. So what happened was they must be showing because he's because he's the specialist of a kick return and punt return. They're showing that first, right? And then then you got to scroll all the way down the bottom. Okay. Uh, it says here he's played in 37, uh, where is it, 37 games, started in two. He's been, oh, okay, well, there you go. He's only been targeted 12 times and he's caught nine receptions. That's quite high. That's quite high, quite a high percentage. Uh, 127 yards and one touchdown and six first downs, right? Also, in his career with New England, the down Patriots up there, um, he's rushed the ball six times for 30 yards and uh, one first down. So he's had a little bit of experience receiving, but his main role is to be the kick returner or the punt returner, right? As I'll bring up here, I did do my homework before. His return stats from the same side, the pro football reference, is he's played in 80 games and he started. Oh, well, I guess you can't really, you can't start any games, can you? My apologies, he's 80 is his number. He's played in 37 games and he's returned the football 66 times for 834 yards for one TD and his longest was 70 yards, right? And yard per return is was average 12 yards. So it's not the best number. It's not like Devin Hester numbers, right? It's not crazy, um, you know, super ridiculous numbers these days. But how can you really? In this day and age, you can't return the football anymore from the goal line for being a kick returner. And it's super hard to return a punt return now with, with these excellent punters. A lot of Australian punters too, by the way. Um, these excellent punters can pin you deep and, and, and launch the ball so high. And also on the other side, his name too, Gunner. He might even play the position Gunner on the outside and chase down uh, the other punt returner, right? So he could do that. Maybe he feels in that role too. I'm not too sure. I don't know if he's, far, if he's, if he's physical enough to be a Gunner. But gunners in the NFL are quite physical to get around their man and chase down and tackle the kick returner. So, yeah, he also wanted to say that he was um, like super proud and happy to be to be involved in the Pittsburgh Steelers organization, which was cool. And of course, the the the, the other questions came up about him eating primanis, and that's all cool. Like we all look, you know, quite a, quite a lot of us have been to Pittsburgh, and I do love it when I was over there. Um, you know, eating eating primanis was I think I've eaten like three or four times now. It's super good. So. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to see a guy like Gunner come in and take care of that position because we we've now lost Ray Ray, so Ray Ray's gone, and we have Gunner Oshesky. That's how you say it, Oshesky, um, coming to the Steelers. And he he did get asked this one last question. It was quite a good interview, actually. I, I'm a I'm a fan of Missy Matthews. I, I kind of I, you know she, in my words, uh, Missy Matthews is a Steeler. She's cool. I like the way that she does stuff. 
If I could ever get her job in the future, that'd be fantastic, right? Um, Missy Matthews asked the question near the end, what is your mentality to be a specialist? And Gunnar Oshesky's answer was awesome, awesome. He said, you got to love everything about football. That's pretty much all he said. He said, you need to love everything about football. You need to be gritty, dirty, tough, and you have to do the hard yards. Because look what he's doing. He's, he's, he's catching the football. Then next minute, 11 people chasing him down to tackle him. So I'm glad we got a physical guy. I Hopefully, they can go out there and get a touchdown. I did some more research too, guys. I don't think – let me double check. I'm using statmuse.com. The last time the Pittsburgh Steelers have had a kick return for a touchdown, um, yes, only kick return here, right, is in 2017, right? So it's been about five years since the Pittsburgh Steelers have had a kick kick return for a touchdown. And let me just research uh, punt return. We'll see. It's probably very similar if we do the punt return too. So five years, and then there we go. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers have had one punt return touchdown against the Cardinals on the 2019. So it's been two years, right? And in between that time, it had been since 2015, 2014, 2013, and 2011, which we all know that Antonio Brown was a really good punt returner. And he scored points. He used to score points off the punt return. So it's been a long time since we've had a specialist in that certain role for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, it wasn't a massive signing, but it's a signing nonetheless. Um, I wish you more the luck. I hope it, I hope it goes really well. But um, as I do with every, you know, with every single Steeler. But it'll be it'll be interesting to see if he is going to play that slot receiver role or if he's a fourth receiver or fifth. I still want to try and get him. Hopefully, he can get involved in the offense. Um, you know, maybe hopefully we don't have to, you know, um, use him that much on on, on the return game, um, like in the kick return, because we don't want them, you know, scoring points and stuff like that. We want to be putting points on the board and kicking the football away, right? So, yeah, thanks, guys, for checking out uh, Steel Nation Australia. Once again, we are on the road to 500. So if you enjoy that video, click that like, subscribe, share, do what you need to do. And as always, here we go, Steelers. Here we go.